With the new Curio Mail server, you'll notice two different places on the little, on the left-hand side here that say contacts. One's at the top and one's at the bottom in a in a folder called public folders. Contacts at the top are your own personal contacts. Uh, you can edit this this file; no one else can. And unless you set other people to be able to view it, it's only viewable by you. The contacts in the public folder is something that anyone in the Good Use system can can view and um, it's, a sh it's a shared document. However, if you, you cannot edit this contact list or any contents of the public folders unless you're set, in a, as an set with administrative privileges and currently only Joe Sand has um, those privileges um, to edit this folder. However, well you can very easily transfer the contents of, of the public folders contacts to your personal contacts and, and uh, and edit or, u or use it there to edit um, to make distribution lists and other sorts of things that you may need to use uh, the contact list for. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, when you go to contacts, if you want to add contacts, you can add contacts manually. And this is good for ed adding contacts of people who are outside of our school system. Or if you just want to add add people into your own contact list who are in the public folders contact all you have to do is click and drag so let's drag Don Austin into this contacts folder so if I open up this folder there she is um, on the contact list if I wanna move everyone I can click on click on the first one I don't wanna click on Don's because I don't want two copies of her in my contacts list, hold down the shift key and click the one at the very end. That'll highlight a whole section of contacts. And then you can drag those onto there and you'll see everyone from that page showed up. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot view everybody at the same time on the contact list, so we have to do this mul multiple times to get everybody into the contact list. And of course, this is only necessary if you want to manipulate any of this information for yourself. If you just need to be able to make send emails to people, um, you should be able to do that using your own or using the public folders. Okay, now I have everyone in the contact list. If I want to make a distribution list so that I can easily or quickly um, send email to a, a certain group of people um, this is how you do it you go you go to the top here where this arrow is go down to new distri new distribution list and it'll, it'll give you it'll give you a, a window like this type the name and then we'll bring in the uh, contacts here so I'll go to add um, if I want to add someone to the co into a distribution list from outside of our system or outside of my contact um, list or I can go to contacts here and it will uh, it'll allow me to move over people from this section and I can highlight multiple people by holding control down let's try this again Okay, and I say save, and this will show up on my contact list. And then every time I want to send an email to the people on that contact list, all I have to do is type in admin at the top, and then type compose my message, and it, all of them will get it.